Wondering what's really happening during a deep cleaning, also known as a scaling and root planing? Let's talk. The reason a scaling and root planing, SRP, is often called a deep cleaning is because it's done on patients who have deeper gum pockets. Healthy gum pockets are between one and three millimeters when probing. I will link my perio charting video if you'd like to learn more. But for the purpose of this video, deep cleanings are often needed if you have lots of five millimeter pockets and above. So the little ruler instrument, we call it a perio probe, if it's dropping down into your gums at five millimeters, six millimeters, seven millimeters and above, and there is bacteria, tartar in the pockets, then you would need to get those pockets cleaned cleaned out, AKA a deep cleaning. So let's watch what happens next. First, no matter which half they're starting on, they will numb you up either with topical gel or local anesthetic, the injection. It just depends on your individual situation, which one will bring you to comfort. So you won't feel anything, right? Next, they will start the cleaning. It's usually lots of water, like you see here. Although it's not the best visual because it's not that simple. It doesn't just spray out high pressurized water, but it does also vibrate. So this water scaler will use both high pressurized water and the ultrasonic vibrations to remove the plaque and tartar from below your gums and above your gums. So it's lots of water, but they will keep it all contained by using the suction, sometimes multiple suctions, a saliva ejector and a high speed. There will be lots of suction noises. And oftentimes the clinician will alternate back and forth between the ultrasonic water scaler and the regular hand instruments, which gives you a break from the suction and all those noises for a while while they are hand scaling using the regular instruments, as you can see here and you know the noise everyone knows that noise <laughs> okay so here's a clip of just super gingival scaling this would not be a deep cleaning because they are not going under the gums as you can see it's it would be a fine cleaning if you didn't have any perio pockets if your gums are healthy there's no deep pockets to clean so there would be no deep cleaning that would be a regular cleaning like this above the gums however if you have those deep pockets then subgingival scaling is needed, AKA scaling tartar from below the gums, removing tartar from below the gums. And once they go back and forth a few times, they go back from the ultrasonic and then they go to the regular hand instruments, then the ultrasonic scaler, then the regular hand instruments. Then when they're all done, they will confirm that they removed everything. They'll do a double check. They might use an explorer to recheck everything as well as some floss floss helps confirm they didn't miss any spots sometimes they might even take an x-ray to confirm as well that there's nothing below the gum lines anymore and then you're done you are now on the road to a healthy mouth you are tartar free bacteria free your gums are ready to heal and be nice and healthy and after a deep cleaning, don't forget to keep up with your home care of brushing and flossing daily. Sometimes even a water flosser is a good idea to keep those gums healthy and those pockets free from any new bacteria building up in there. You want those pockets to heal up and stay clean, so don't forget to focus on home care. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if you did. And if you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, or hang out with me on Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.